Okay, this is exercise 5.7, um, question 5F, from your textbook. Sketch from 0 to 2 pi, the following curve, 4 sine, bracket 2x plus pi on 2. With this question, you'll notice that you've got 4 sine in, in brackets 2x plus pi on 2. Now, you have to rearrange that. We'll make it 4 sine. Take the 2 out here as a common factor. x plus, so we've got 2x plus now, to get pi on 2, I'd need to multiply by pi on 4. So, you cannot sketch it this way where you've got the coefficient of the x being anything but 1. If the coefficient of x is 2, you need to take a 2 out the front. If it's 3, you take a 3 out the front. Okay, so, it's um, just checking 2x plus 2 pi on 4 makes it pi on 2. So, this is what we sketch. So, basically, this is the curve y equals um, sine x with amplitude equal to 4. Um, the period um, the, is 2 pi divided by 2. So it's 2 pi divided by 2, which is pi. And the shift is pi on 4 to the left. Okay. So, let's have a quick um, sketch. Now, what we're going to do is, I'll just draw the sine curve, okay, first. This is not the proper curve, okay? So, I've got the sine curve, um, amplitude 2, okay? Period, instead of being, um, period being pi, uh, 2 pi normally, it's pi. So, that means you'd fit two of them. You'd fit two of them into 2 pi. If the period of one curve is, is um, the new period is pi, it means you get a full curve in pi, but we our domain is from 0 to 2 pi, so you need to get two curves in, okay? And then it's going to be shifted pi on 4 to the left. Now, I've got pi, 2 pi. This must be pi on 2. This must be pi on 4. This is 3 pi on 4, etc. This must be 3 pi on 2. Uh, that must be 5 pi on 4. And this must be um, 7 pi on 4. Okay? So, we've fixed up the amplitude. Actually, no, we haven't fixed up the amplitude. The amplitude's 4. Sorry about that. 4 and minus 4. So, sorry about that. So, amplitude's 4. Period is pi. Now we need to do the shift of pi on 4 to the left. Now what you can do is just, you can redraw it and move each point over to the left, pi on 4. But the other thing you can do, if this is now going to be on 0, the other thing you could do is change all these numbers instead. Okay? Now I'm going to demonstrate that. So if we shift this over there, then on the x-axis, I've now got, sorry, I'll have pi on 4. But this then needs to be moved over. So 0, that will now become negative pi on 4. This will become 0 up here. So it will um, end up like that, basically. Look, you can redraw it, or you can um, move the numbers. So this is now 0, this is pi and 4, and then we just keep drawing the curve, okay? Now remember we need um, two full, we're going to have two um, periods in it, so 1 and 2. Now just writing down what everything is, remember this is moving over, so the end of this graph will be, this is now 7 pi and 4, this will now be 2 pi, okay? Because I've moved it over, Every point gets moved over. Um, I'll have to, the whole thing's been shifted to the left. I have to continue all the way to 2 pi. So instead of the curve as it sits finishing at 2 pi, it's now going to finish at 7 pi and 4, which is that bit. It doesn't start down here. It'll actually start from the top there. Okay, so um, if that's 0, this will be pi. This is obviously pi on 2, 3 pi on 4. Um, this must be 3 pi on 2, and this is 5 pi on 4, okay? So that is now your curve. So therefore, this is the curve y equals 4 sine 2x plus pi on 2, okay? All right, that's question 5f. 
I'm now going to look at question six, I think. Okay, question six. We're going to look at question six B. I'm just going to put it up on the screen. Okay, question six B. It says sketch for next um, for the domain negative two through to two. Now this is a bit different. You're used to seeing zero to two pi or negative pi to pi. The reason is because of the period. So if we look at that curve, our period is two pi over the coefficient of the x. And the coefficient of the x is 2 pi, so the period is actually 1, okay? And the amplitude of the curve is, so remember, period is 2 pi over b. In this case, the b is 2 pi, okay? The coefficient of the x is 2 pi. The amplitude is 3. So this is basically a cosine curve, so it's a cos curve. So I'll just draw the cos curve, but... Um, Actually, that's not a good way to do it. I might do it down here. The thing is, we're going to have to go from negative 2 to positive 2. So I'm just going to get rid of that one up there. And Coyle's curve um, will start from up there. And we've got 1. Now, the period of that is 1. Okay, so we do another one. So we've got two of those in. And coming back for two more. One and two. And that's negative two. So this will be negative one. That's zero. All right. Um, try and get it the same, you know, width. And the amplitude is three. And this down here is negative three. And that's that curve. That's the curve y equals um, three cos two pi x divided by uh, just... 3 cos 2 pi x, okay? Now for question um, 7. Question 7, we're asked to sketch y equals sine x and y equals sine 2x and then hence sketch y equals sine x plus sine of 2x. What I'm going to do here is a little table of values, okay, um, for part b. But first I'll just sketch um, y equals sine x and y equals... Um, Sine of 2x. Now, sine of x looks like this with a period of 2 pi. So that's um, y equals sine x is in blue. And I will draw y equals 2 sine up sine of 2x in, in red. Now, I haven't drawn that very well. Okay. So, like that. And I'm going to draw y equals sine of 2x in red. Now remember, y equals sine 2x, the period is, is 2 pi on 2. So period is 2 pi on the coefficient of the x, which is 2, so the period is 2 pi. So we will basically fit a curve in by the time we get to... Um, so if this is pi and 2, that's... So we've got... Um, like that, it'll go like this, one, sorry, just not getting this done very well. So that's the halfway mark, so we go up there and down, and down and up, and then we've got, um, this is halfway, so up, down, down and up. So in red, I've got y equals sine of 2x. Now what I want to do, the amplitude of both these curves is 1. So I'm just going to do a little table of values here for x, sine of x, and sine of 2x for some different values like 0. Well, if this is 0, 0 there, and that's pi, this must be pi on 2. This must be pi on 4 up there, okay? Um... So 0, I might just do it for the first period, pi on 4, pi on 2, 3 pi on 4, pi. I'll just put these others in, but I may not fill them in, okay? 5 pi on 4, 3 pi on 2, 7 pi on 2, and 2 pi. It won't be a minute, I'll just fix that up. Now... Okay, we've got sine x, sine of 2x, and we've then got down here, sine of x plus sine of 2x. Okay, 
So sine of zero is zero. Sine of um, when x is zero, these are both zero. We know sine of pi on four is one on root two. But if this is pi on four here for this x, it'll be two pi on four, which is sine pi on two, which is one. So if you add them two together, you get one and one on root two. Um, for pi on two, sine pi on two is one. And if you substitute pi on 2 here, we get 2 pi on 2, which is sine of pi, which is 0. So 1 plus 0 is 1. I'm going to do pi sine of, actually you can just see it off the graph anyway, but sine of pi is 0 and sine of 2 pi is also 0. And it will be the same here for 2 pi, they're both 0. So the addition there is 0. I'm going to look at 3 pi on 2. Sine of 3 pi on 2 pi on 2, the blue curve is sine um, x, so sine of 3 pi on 2 is negative 1, and if we put in 3 pi on 2 here for sine 2x, you get um, sine of 2 times 3 pi on 2 is sine of 3 pi, which is 0, so therefore you've got negative 1 here. Now, I'm just going to do one more, um, sine of 3 pi on 4, i for the 2x one, so sine of 3 pi 2 times 3 pi on 4, it's down here. So I'm not going to worry about this. the sine x one, that's the same as sine of 145, or sorry, 135, which is 1 on root 2. Yeah, that's here, okay? And these others would be negative 1 on root 2, negative 1 on root 2. So that's a 4 as well. Okay. Now, sine of 2 times 3 pi on 4, which would be here, is the sine of 3 pi on 2. Sine of 3 pi on 2 is negative 1. So this value here is um, 1 on root 2 minus a half, um, sorry, minus 1. So it's 1 on root 2 minus 1. The 5 pi on 4, um, so sine of 2 times 5 pi on 4, is same as 5 pi on 2 give you the same value as sine of 5 pi on 2 and sine of 5 pi on 2 is the same as if you subtract 2 pi from that it's the same as sine pi on 2 which is 1 okay so again this is 1 minus 1 on root 2 and this one here will be um, sine of 7 pi on 2 times 7 pi on 4 is sine of 7 pi on 2 and sine of 7 pi on 2 is sine of 3 and a half. Um, that would be, I'll just check that one out, negative 1 sine of 7 pi on 2. So therefore you get negative 1 minus 1 on root 2. So now to sketch it. Now just working out what these values are. 1 minus 1 on root 2, so it's 1 minus 1 divided by root 2, we get 0 0.29 roughly, so approximately 0 0.3. Um, 1 divided by root 2 minus 1, you get negative 0, sorry here, negative 0 0.3. Okay, same with this one, 1 minus 1 on root 2, we get plus 0.3, and this one here, sine of um, 7 pi on 4. Actually, sorry, this is a plus, not a minus, so it's 1.3, so just be careful here, sorry about that. This is 1.3, and this one is negative 1 point, sorry, no, it's not 1.3, I'll just fix it. So this is 1 and 1 plus 1 on root 2, so it's 1 plus 1 divided by root 2, it's actually 1.7. And this one is negative 1.7. Okay, now if you look at the graph here as well, see this um, pi on 4 is here. And you're actually adding 1 with this 1 on root 2. So that's actually going to give you the highest point on sine x plus sine 2x. And also this point down here where I've got negative 1 and negative 1 on root 2 there, that'll give me the very lowest um, point on the combined sine x plus sine 2x graph. Okay, now to combine the graphs.
we've got 0, pi on 4, pi on 2, 3 pi on 4, pi, 5 pi on 4, um, 3 pi on 2, keep going, 7 pi on 4 and 2 pi. Okay, we know for 2 pi we've got 0, if we look here. For pi we've got 0, and for 0 we've got 0. For pi on 2, the amplitude is 1. Now remember this goes to about 1.7, so or 1 plus 1 on root 2. I'll just put 1 here. This can be negative 1, and this can be negative 1 minus 1 on root 2 down there. Okay. So, for pi on 4, we've got 1 plus 1 on root 2, okay? For um, pi on 2, we've got 1. For 3 pi on 4, we've got negative 0.3. And negative 0.3 is actually 1, um, negative 1 plus 1 on root 2. So, it's about there. Then we've got 0. And then we've got plus, so this is plus 0.3 is actually 1 minus 1 on root 3 because it's 1 minus 0.7. So this is about there for the 5 pi on 4. Then we've got, um, oops, for 3 pi on 2, we've got, looks like negative, I'm just got to check that actually. I'm not sure about this one. Oh, it looks fine. 3 pi on 2, we're getting negative 1. 7 pi on 4, we're getting negative 1.7 or negative 1 minus 1 on root 2. And for 2 pi, we're getting 0. So the combined curve looks like this. So like that, um, there, down here. Looks like it's back up. And then it's back down and back up. Okay, so that's what I'm getting for question 7 to sketch sine of x plus sine of 2x. Just looked at question 7. Um, question 8 would be done the same way, so would question 9. But in question 9, you'd be subtracting, okay? So you'd be doing the cos 2x graph, maybe doing that in a table of values and then subtracting the cos x value from that. Um, okay, and question 10 is done basically in the same way as well. Looking at exercise 3C, um, what I'll do, I'll just start a new video just in case um, you know it shuts down or something. So this will be in the next video. I'll do exercise 3C with um, exercise 5.8 from the textbook together.